Once upon a time, in a city called Birmingham, lived two adventurous maidens. To celebrate their new gained freedom from school, the two maidens packed most of their belongings set off to a land far, far away. Because they were of no great wealth, they had to travel overnight. The journey was long and restless, but eventually they arrived in the land far, far away, called Edinburgh. To secure a prince's like sleep, they had to make their own residence and their own beds that were as light as air. Unfortunately, a gnome broke one of the maidens' beds, so that every night one of them had to sleep on the cold hair ground. Though nothing could ruin the maidens' moods after they discovered the far and white sea which became their daily destination. As always, they were cheerful, heroically saved the world from plastic and enjoyed some animal company. Unlike many princesses, the two maidens had to provide their own cuisine on a burning fire. On a daily basis, they also defend their own goods from evil creatures and were never afraid. After many fights and long wonders, they conquered a steep mountain to take over the castle of Edinburgh. But in the end, they decided they had found more comfort in their own four walls or polyester. Sunken into their thoughts, they melancholically watched the sunset, hoping for the next day to be as wonderful as the one before. And as the next day arrived, the two maidens took over an island deep in the sea and caught it theirs. Moved on on some mighty horses to explore more of the land. But oh, oh no! The two maidens got caught in a terrible storm! It's raining like crazy, we're just in the tent like... The wind was whooshing, the rain was pouring, and the thunder was rolling. Though nothing could ruin the maiden's mood, as they cheered and danced through the rain, hoping for better times. So, yay, we're drying now. It's really, really cold. They found shelter in an empty room and waited for the disturbance to be over and observed the consequences of the storm afterwards. After four eventful days and nights, Full of exploring, adventure and money saving, they packed their belongings once more to return to their beloved home and lived happily ever after.